Come on, let's sing it. How great is our God, is our God. It's our God. Now make it personal. Say, it's my God. It's my God. It's my God. It's my God. Because he is my God. How great, how great is my God. requires your time, your talents, and your treasures. So even if you say, I don't have no money, you can still give him your praise. Your time, praise. You can serve, that's giving him praise. But some of you do that with an attitude. And then got the nerve to turn around and ask the Lord to bless you. What if he bless you with the same attitude that you're giving him your praise? Some of y'all singing in the choir. So tired of this song. Every Sunday we sing this song. Everybody know we gonna sing this song. Is that your offering to the Lord? And the next verse says, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Jump over here to 14. It says, And they which fell among the thorns are they which, when they heard, they go forth, and they are choked with the cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. Let me help you out. Some of y'all come to church. You get good word at church. You cry at the church. You come to the altar. You just stand up here. Folks don't even know all the issues that you're dealing with. But you're giving it all to the Lord. And you're saying, Lord, when I leave, I'm going to be different. Things just going to be. I'm not going to do the same. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for changing me. You leave right out that door. And you feel good when you get home. And as long as you're in your word, you feel good. But your friends might call you, text you, Facebook you, Skype you. Uvu you, all those social networking sites. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Girl, you know there's a party Friday. You show up at the party. But you were supposed to be having Bible study Friday with so-and-so. Because you was getting ready for Sunday school on Sunday. Because you was been Friday night preparing with them. And Saturday you was going to do what you had to do with your folks. And Sunday you'd be ready for Sunday school. But you went to the party. And you're hanging around all these folks that the scripture would say they're the weeds. They're the thorns that sprang up. See, they like them first two we done already talked about. Their hearts are stony, rocky. They ain't getting no word. The devil done stole their word. You got good word. It's planted in you, and it's growing up, but you're starting to hang around with them folks that you know you shouldn't be around, and they choke your word right out of you. They choke it and take it from you because before you know it, those things you was up at the altar praying about and saying you wasn't going to do no more, you find yourself right back doing it. Let me help you out real quick. Y'all getting ready to go back to school, right? I'm going to get back to the word just a second. I, I, I'm preaching already to somebody, but I'm going to help you out real quick. There's some research that says some of you are visual learners. You can sit in the classroom, watch the teacher teach, take a test on Friday, pass the test, make 100. You can just watch, never even write anything down. You're a visual learner. Some of you are auditory learners. All you got to do is listen. You ain't even got to be looking at the teacher. As long as you're listening, hearing what's going on. You can take tests on Friday and pass the test. You ain't write nothing down. But most of you are kinesthetic learners. You're hands on. You have to see it. You have to write it down. You have to practice it to get it. Now listen to me. This is the part I want to tell you that's important. The research says, for those of you who are visual learners, you can just look at it and get it. Seven to ten days after you use it, you only have about 7% retention. Let me help you out. That means you forget 93% of what you saw. For those of you who are auditory listeners, you can, auditory learners, you can just hear it and get it. Seven to ten days after you use it, let me break it down for you. You took the test this Friday, you passed it. You might have made an A, you might have made a B, you might, maybe only made a C. But if I give you that same test seven to ten days later, for you auditory learners, you'll make a 13 you forget 87% of what you learn. For you kinesthetic learners, it's 23%. But this is the good part I want to share with you. The research says for you students in school, even for some of you adults who need to remember some stuff, the research says if you put all three of them together, if you see it, you hear it, and you do it, you can increase your retention by 53%. How many of you could use a 53% increase in some of your grades? I just told you how to increase your grades by 53%. See it, hear it, and do it. Even if you're a visual learner, say it in your mind. Practice it. Write it down so that you can see it, hear it, and do it. Now, this is the best part. The research went on to say if you see it, hear it, and do it at least three times, you can increase your retention by 74%. 
How many of you could use a 74% increase? No. How many of y'all could just use a 74? Because I just told you how to make a 74. See it here and do it at least three times. You can increase your retention by 74%. Now, what that says is if you're a C student, you can make straight A's. And you can't tell me you can't learn because music, them videos, and all that other stuff y'all do, y'all do the exact same thing with that. Y'all see it, hear it, and do it at least three times. That's why when the song come on, before they ever start singing, y'all be like, ooh, that's my jam right there. Before they ever even say anything. That's why y'all get it. You've seen it, heard it, done it more than three times. You remember it. It works the same way if you apply that to the scripture. If you apply that to math, to English, social studies, science, it works the same way. See it, hear it, do it at least three times. You can increase your retention. Woo! Young folks, quit talking about you're not good at math. Quit saying you're not good at math. Don't speak that into your life. Listen, geometry and algebra was invented invented in Egypt where is Egypt that's where your forefathers your ancestors are from it's in Africa your people created algebra geometry you have math in your genes quit talking about you not good at it you know how you get better at it practice it do it see it here and do it at least three times and you can make a 74 thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Baby, God's going to keep on blessing you. He's going to be with you. Oh, God loves a heart like that. Somebody that's not ashamed. Somebody that'll go before God. I need you, God. We need young people like that that are not ashamed. I don't care who's sitting by me. I love God and I want the world to know. I need God more than I need my friend. Bless the Lord with her. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, yeah, Lord. There you go, baby. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. I'll do it if I have to do it by myself. I love God with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my mind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. We were in holy convocation. That's what it's all about. We were in holy convocation. Yeah. Yeah, I love him. 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 I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. Tell your neighbor God shifting the atmosphere. Tell him, I felt it, man. God's shifting the atmosphere. God's shifting the atmosphere. He's shifting the atmosphere. Thank you for it, God. Thank you for it, God. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, listen, I don't want to take nothing for granted. If you're here and you're not saved, if you're here and you're not saved, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, then you need to be saved. If you are not saved and you know you're not saved and you need to be saved, then I'm going to ask you to come to the altar right now and I want to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you know you're not saved, but you know you need to be saved, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord. Oh, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior.